hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have a HomeSense and TK Maxx haul. For the first time in what feels like a very long time, I had a good rummage of the clothes in TK Maxx. So we did pick up quite a few things, hence why I thought today I would bring to you a full dedicated video, haul video. So first things first, if you are coming over from my previous video, I essentially went into store and vlogged, so if you want to see more of what I saw but maybe didn't pick up, then check out my last video if you missed it. But if you are coming over from that video, hello. I also wanted to share with you, um, or show you up a video or picture on screen, of the wreath that I recently picked up in TK Maxx. I put it on our front door. It's a beautiful kind of spring wreath. They've still got loads of them in and in different colors as well. I just went for the most natural, the kind of green toned one, but they've got pinks and purples. I think they had like blue ones as well. It's 12 99 It's quite small, I will say that, for a front door wreath, but it is beautiful nonetheless. So yeah, it could be quite a nice one to actually have on the inside of a door somewhere. Say if you've got like a, a door going into your kitchen or something. But yeah, for now, for us, it is on our front door. And then secondly, before I share with you the bits that I have got here, I also picked up, I, I feel like, potentially the best ever find from TK Maxx. So you guys know my olive tree, the Home Bargains olive tree in the kitchen area. So I've been, it's like, this is the third pot I've bought for it now, but I started with a tiny little basket from Home Bargains, which I always knew was too small. Then I got the pot from Amazon, the kind of rustic olive colored pot, which I love and still love and will use somewhere else. That was also nice, but again, I thought I could go even bigger. So when I saw this pot in HomeSense for $59.99, I decided to pick it up. I love the texture of it, the color, it's nice and neutral without it being just stark white and perfect. It's got a real like rustic texture and finish to it, which I love. So I could definitely repurpose and reuse the pot that I had before, either in the garden as well. Obviously we're not far off getting the garden renovated. Well, we, I say we're not far off. We are currently renovating the garden. Let's just say that this summer is just gonna be spent outside a lot of the time. I uh, hope you guys don't mind because there will be vlogs of me pottering in the garden, which honestly, I can't wait to do. So yeah, that is the other purchase that I wanted to share with you before I dive into these bags. Okay, next up I will share with you a spending purchase. It's a bit more extravagant, but well, I suppose still for the saving that you get, it's still good value, but it's from Laura Floren and it's one of their lamps. So we have a new little spot that I was after a new lamp for and I thought this would be lovely. I've seen quite a few people get this from HomeSense and they've obviously got the ones with the kind of blue pattern on. I don't have too much blue in my house now, but I feel like that trend is gonna come. There might be a day whereby the blue takes over everyone's love of green at the moment, I feel. Who knows, but for now I'm sticking with the green and so yeah, when I saw they had this lamp in the plain white, it's kind of like a crackled effect if you can see there, but when I saw that they had it in the white with the kind of walnut wood at the bottom, it's just a little antique gold plaque there that says Lauren. I just think this is gorgeous. It's so, so nice. So it's $79.99. I did see that the blue ones, at least the store that I went to, they had the blue ones in the clearance at 80 pounds. So obviously ordinarily those ones are quite a bit more, but I wanted the white one anyway. It's a shame it didn't have a red, a red ticket on it, but they had quite a few as well. And I did think, oh, do I get two? So that if in future I want them as bedside lamps, then I could have that. But in this house, I don't think we would ever have a situation where we have two bedside tables with bedside lamps because our bedroom, we've got the wall lights either side of our bed and the spare room it only fits a double snugly. And even at that, there's only, there's a windowsill on one side, so there's not room for two bedside tables. So I don't know if we would ever have that situation in this house. So I did decide to just pick up the one for now. Next up, we've got a little storage basket. I love a good storage, although I have noticed there's a couple of threads coming loose, but never mind. I thought this on a work surface or shelf or within a sh cupboard shelf, um, maybe in Tom's room as well, for like bits of like receipts and paperwork and stuff. I thought this would just come in handy and it was only 
for 99 RRP of £12. It says RRP, but I have no idea where it's from originally. Anything with this kind of like just natural linen look to it, I am a sucker for. So I picked that one up along with this, which I actually picked up for a friend who has recently had a baby. I thought I would pick this up as opposed to a gift bag so that she can keep it, reuse it as a bit of a caddy. So it's just a cute little basket and it has a baby on the front. So adorable. These were £6.99. So some of the gift bags that I was looking at to pop a present in for her or her little new baby, some of them were sort of like £3.50. So to get this to £6.99, I thought, is much better. And we can obviously fill it with loads of goodies. I also picked up this. This is more TK Maxx from the beauty section. And it's from the brand Common Care. It is a microfiber hair drying towel. I love using these. So I decided to pick up a fresh new one at 5.99 this was more of a impulse till purchase but whenever i see the white and gray simple looking scrub daddies i tend to pick them up because i just much prefer these sat in my sink to a bright yellow pink orange one so these were 5.99 for a pack of two of the scrub mummies where they've got the softer sponge side as well and then again from the beauty kind of section within tk maxx i picked up this it looks super clean and minimal which i love but it's just a hand soap and not that i need any new hand soaps but what i do tend to have is the hand soaps that i get through quite quickly i like the pot that they're in and i just replenish them with something clear like this although having said that i actually like the look of this anyway it's from the brand she does it say she and it is in the scent white tea and bergamot foaming hand wash with aloe vera this was five pounds but it was reduced in the clearance to just two pound fifty again a beauty purchase and something that i was in need of is a new purple shampoo i haven't used it for a few times my hair's still quite ashy but yeah, I do like to use this to keep out those sort of yellow tones to it. So I, well, any purple shampoo to be honest with you, but this is like a luxury kind of one. But seeing it in TK Maxx, you get a bit of a saving on there. I think they were, oh, there we go, 22 pounds. I'm completely lying to you there. I'm doing that proper girl math thing of rounding it down. It's actually 22.99, but it's 20 quid, you know, it's just, it's just 20 quid and they retail for usually 28 so we'll say they retail for 30 and i only got it for 20 basically half price i was so happy to find this dog toy in the dog toy section from barber he's actually had this before barney and i well he kind of did like rip a hole in it and once the hole was there i could have probably sewn it back together but i ended up binning it because all the stuffing was coming out but he was younger and he doesn't tend to destroy toys anymore. So anyway, I was chuffed when I saw this because these retail for 18 pounds. The first one that I bought, I paid full price for, but they had quite a few of these and they were reduced to, well, in TK Maxx, they were 7 99 Bargain. And it's such a cute, oh, nearly dropped it. It's such a cute little toy for the dogs, but there is a squeaker in there. I feel like that kind of country aesthetic. To find them in Home Sense, amazing. Anyway, I also got this from the food and drink section. They had so many different teas from this brand, Anasa. They had all the different kind of flavors and everything, but this one really caught my interest because with summer months, I like to have more refreshing drinks. And I feel like this would be a really nice alternative to uh, like a tea or coffee, but to have it iced. Summer herbal tea collection iced. So there's 10 in here with the flavors you get a mixture of flavors you get organic mint lemon verbena greek mountain tea pure happiness and pure freshness so you get two of each you just add boiling water and infuse like you would a normal tea with a tea bag but then you pour the drink into a glass with ice cubes and then you can add fruits if you want to as well best before as well it's good until 2026 so anyway i picked them up for $3.99. Last of the Home Sense purchases now, and it is, of course, a book. If you saw in the vlog footage, they had The Art of Home, uh, which I already have that book and love it so much. So I didn't pick it up, but it was quite a good price. I think it was $16.99. I picked up this book. This is called Australia. It's a cooking book 
by Rostopsen and I just loved the spine of it, the colour of it. So we have quite a few, let's just say nice looking co um, coffee table book style cooking books that I like to switch around and style up in our kitchen. Then I do have a cupboard under the kitchen unit which has all of our nice cooking books in. I do feel like in a dream scenario, maybe in the kind of alcove area where the mirror and olive tree currently is, I would love to find a really rustic antique cabinet style unit to fit in there with maybe a mirrored back to then maybe have somewhere that I could style all of the coffee table and coffee table books, all of the cookbooks so that we actually have them out and can see them. Or I suppose I could, if I were to clear out the worktop space in the pantry, I could maybe just stack them up in there. This was in the clearance at just £10 and it retails for 35 normally. Let's move on to the TK Maxx clothes. This one's ASOS from the ASOS design and it's just a simple dress. We're a little early to the game with this one but I thought I would pick it up. When you see it you've got to get it haven't you in these sorts of shops. So this one was only 9.99 in a size 10. It's like a tiered skirt bottom dress and it really kind of deep v plunge with this little button detail and cinched in waist here but it's kind of made from like a crepe linen type fabric beautiful color especially in the uk summer you know when we're just stifling hot and we can't really wear anything other than floaty dresses that will be perfect for that and then this one i also got at 9.99 in a size Oh no, this one's a size 12, sorry. This one is originally from Zara. The original label's pulled off, but yeah, I'm sure it was more than 9.99. It's got adjustable straps, a zip back waist, and then it's got this kind of cutout detailing here, which does have ties. So you can cinch in or loosen it, depending on how tight you want those holes to be. And otherwise, it's just a plain and simple white dress. I did pick up the two dresses that I saw. You may have seen in the vlog footage. I was toying between the two. I thought I'm going to pick them both up, try them on at home, see what you guys think of them as well. So let me know which you prefer or if you think I should just keep both. But I got the exact same dress in the two different colours. So you've got the kind of natural stone acru beige color and then you've got this one which is like a really dark olive green and it's very simply a midi midaxi type dress from a brand called soya concept 45 pounds originally it's a really nice kind of toweling fabric so i'm imagining this on holiday or again in the summer months but on holiday especially with like a bikini underneath as a bit of a cover up, a coverall, just throw it on. So this is in a large, and I think the other one was in a, yeah, the other one's in a medium. But I was holding them up, and honestly, there's not much in it. They're just quite a floaty, loose fit dress anyway. That I just thought it's not. It doesn't really matter which size you get. They were in TK Maxx for 19.99. Then I got this little Zara number at 5.99 in a small. It's a little bandeau zip oh no it's not a zip up it's got like a corset style back i thought this would be lovely for whenever i'm in need of a nice top for nice top and trousers or nice top and jeans type of an outfit the fabric of this is lovely kind of a bit dressier with it being a champagne gold kind of satin color and also i do quite like off shoulder like no straps i prefer strapless or a thin straps for these kind of nice top and jeans outfits. So yeah, I thought this was lovely. And at 5 99 originally Zara, um, more than happy to pay a fiver. Next up, I got this from the brand Monto. I think this might be a TK Maxx brand actually, or at least I see it in there quite a lot, but 9 99 this is in, the, again, it's in a large, but not out of choice. They only had a large left in this color. They had white uh lots of these in white actually but i wanted this kind of dark green color and it's just a little waistcoat that i think these look lovely with satin midi skirts or wide leg trousers so i'm thinking this with some wide leg trousers in a kind of neutral beige type color i feel like would look really really nice 
and yeah, 9.99. Last but not least, this dress. This was from Oisho. I'm thinking this might actually be too small for me looking at it now that I've got it at home. It's, it's a very skimpy, small dress. So with it being in a small, it might be a little too small for me, we'll see. But it's a halter neck top. It's a bit twisted, but you can see what it's like. And it's a linen-y fabric, again, double layered. It might even be 100% linen, this one, you know, because it feels it. This garment contains linen, okay. At least 50% of European grown linen. And it does feel lovely and soft. The actual dress itself is just a very simple dress. It's just very short. Mm, it might be all right. We'll see, we'll see how we go with that. But yeah, if you wanna see any of those styled up, I'm sure I will do a kind of try on reel or TikTok. So be sure to follow those other socials if you wanna see more clips of me wearing them, styling them up and yeah. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Sorry, it's a bit of a shorter one. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more. As always, it would mean the world. To those of you that are already subscribed, thank you so much. I will love you and leave you. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.